you just got to love the weather here in Ohio. A few days ago, there was eight inches of snow with a crust of ice under it. Yesterday, most of the snow melted, and as of today, this is Thursday, February, what, 17th? Snow's melted. It's 50 degrees. Super high winds. Hey, what's happening, guys? We're back taking a look at this thing again. It was two days ago that we did the original video. And this is a, basically a do-it-yourself LiPo power bank. You can put from 1 to 8 18650 cells in here. And they're all in parallel. So all you're increasing is the current capability, not the uh, not the voltage. And uh, it claims... Oh, well, you guys can read that. Uh, somewhere. 5 volt, 2 amp. Yeah. So, if you look here... I'll turn it on, you can see it. No, yeah, probably not. 5 volt, 2.1 amp, 5 volt, 1 amp. And uh, I got a bunch of comments because I didn't test it. You're absolutely right. I didn't test it. And the reason is I can't find my load. And for all my friends, please do not send me an electronic load. I have like three of them. I just can't find it. For you guys that don't know, you know, I moved middle of October and like I would say at least 40% of my stuff is still in boxes in the garage. So forgive me, but we'll do a couple experiments, break out Ohm's law, see what we can figure out, right? All right. So first of all, you know, does it work? Yeah, absolutely. Here is a uh, USB fan. Let me shed some more light on the subject here. This will use 2 amp max. It says it won't go up to 2 amps. We get maybe 3 quarters of an amp out of it at most. So we'll bring in one of these guys. Plug that in. And we'll put this on its highest setting. Low, medium, high. And I'm going to sit it down just to bring a little extra draw to it. And we're looking at, what, 0.7 amps at 5 volt, 0.64, you know, right around that area. Now, we can also add other things to the equation, such as a phone. All right, let's swap a couple things around here. We'll plug the fan directly in. Then we'll plug the phone charger into the other socket. Then we'll plug in the phone. One moment. I don't know how well you can see that. That is charging at 0.84 amps. And this guy is, you know... right around an amp so we're getting close but if you want a more exact way to figure this out let's hop over to the computer for a second okay so if you're watching my channel then you're into electronics and I'm sure you understand Ohm's law and the relationships between voltage, current, and resistance. So we know that we want to see 2.1 amps on our output, and we know we have 5 volts on our input. So 2.38095 ohms will give us that at 10 watts. All right? Are you with me so far? All right, so I have 5 one watt 10 ohm resistors in parallel so that should give us about 2.5 amps i mean 2.5 ohms but due to 
you know, manufacturing characteristics and everything else. It won't be exact. I know you like exact. We'll get as exact as we can, right? Huh. 3.2. What you don't know is I just measured this a couple minutes ago and it came in at 2.3. That is really interesting. Am I not getting a good connection or something? Huh. Anyway. I was going to throw all my calculations off. But um, let's throw that on there for a couple seconds. See how she does. We can only do it for a couple seconds because it's going to get warm. There we go. 1.67 amps. Try the other side just to make sure. Yep, they're both good. Yes, sir, them guys got a little bit worn. One, one watt resistors in parallel. You know, so they're each going to be dissipating almost two watts, which is much more than they're made for and we don't we don't need that now there is one other thing and this is a little quirk about this that i wanted to show you hang on here is my regular ev everyday driver it is a google pixel 4 got a usb-c connector on it so here is a usb-c charging cable plug in And it's fine. Now, when I plugged it in through this little indicator Google Woggle here, well, now it works. Isn't that interesting? This morning, when I did this first, it didn't work. That's wild. All right, so hey, check this out. We got 1.1 amps here. What if we add some more? Hopefully we won't start a fire. But will it still keep up going? It's just dropped down to 4.85 at uh, 0.45 amp. Take that out. It's still good. So... What does my testing prove? Well, not a lot, but it's capable. You're definitely going to get two amps out of this thing. No trouble whatsoever. So I hope that uh, answers some of you guys' questions. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Hi, doggy. What do you think? Do we make a good video today? I think so, too.